Morning everyone. Happy Monday. Um, right, so I'm going to start by going through the homework that I gave you on Thursday about the food web. So answer the following questions in relation to the food web that is shown in figure 8.26. Uh, the first one is right out of food chain. Sorry, no. Uh, right out of food chain with four organisms in it. So just to have a look at a few, right, there's one here. So starts here, goes to here, goes to here, but that's only three. Or there's starts here, goes to here, goes to here, also only three. Uh, starts here, goes here, goes here, there's one. Is it the only one? No, there's another one. Um, okay, so I'm going to go with that one. So it's The ash tree is eaten by the caterpillars, eaten by the robins, eaten by, I'll move it now, the owls. Okay, so it had to have four bits in it. There you go. Ash tree eaten by the caterpillars. Caterpillars are eaten by the robins. Robins are eaten by the owls. I found another one there. Um, one, no, it's only three. This one. The ash tree eaten by the earthworms, eaten by the robins, eaten by the owls is another option for four. Okay, B. Uh, name a producer or name the producer in the web okay the the only producer in the web there is the ash tree okay c name two consumers okay so consume okay everything above the ash tree is a consumer so any two of everything above the ash tree so i'm gonna go with green flies and mice Okay, so the green flies, the caterpillars, the earthworms, the robins, the mice, the ladybirds, and the owls are all consumers. Pick two. Okay, D. Um, name a herbivore in the web. So there's a good few herbivores. If they're feeding on the ash tree, they're herbivores. Um, so the green flies, the mice, the caterpillars, the robins, and the earthworms. So any of them uh, will work fine. So the earthworms are a good answer. Um, but like I said, there's a good few there. Um, part E, name two carnivores in the web. Um, so a carnivore is one that will feed an animal that feeds on another animal. So ladybirds, uh, owls, robins, any of them. Uh, so I'll go with ladybirds. Uh, right, I'm sorry, lads. I'm just going to have to move here for one second. Just bear with me for a sec. Sorry. Um, F. Give one example of competition shown in this web. Um, so there's quite a few different um, animals competing for the ash tree. There's one, two, three, four. Is it five? different animals competing for the ash tree um that is the only thing i can see yeah so all i can see there is competition for the ash tree and
trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. Okay, AFG. Give one example of how mice depend on the ash tree. So you can see there that mice feed on the ash tree. They actually feed on the seeds of the ash tree. You wouldn't get that from the web. I just, I know they feed on the seeds. Um, give one example for the ash tree depends on the mice. Uh, I don't know if you would have got this, but um, it's for pollination or reproduction. So essentially when the mice eat the seeds, um, they might drop them. That's probably not the best, but what they will do is they'll eat them and it, they'll pass through their system and then they'll excrete them and they normally excrete them quite a bit further away from where they've eaten them, so the original ash tree, and then the ash tree can reproduce. So the tree needs the mice to do that because it aids in reproduction. Um, if all the robins died, what might happen to the number of Elves. I. What's that? Oh god. So that's I part one. Okay, that's not confusing. Um. Well, the elves feed on the robins. So if the robins died, you'd have a decrease in the amount of robins because they wouldn't have decrease in robin. Sorry. If the robins died, you would have a decrease in the elves. Um. Because there, there'd be much bigger competition then because, see the way the elves feed on the mice and the robins? If all the robins were gone, then all the elves are competing for less food. So you would be in a survival of the fittest type of situation and um, you would have elves that die from not getting enough food or um, if they don't die imminently, they would die prematurely um, or they leave and they go somewhere else where there are robins. Definitely less elves though. And if the robins died, how would that affect the caterpillars? Okay, so the robins eat the caterpillars. So you would have an increase in the amount of caterpillars because they're not been eaten. Um, last one then. <clears throat> How many organisms feed on the ash tree? Oh, we talked about this earlier. One, two, three. So you can see if you look at the base of the arrows. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's the homework. And until we get into school, that's it on ecology. So... I was trying to come up with a plan when I was on on Thursday, but I couldn't, um, but I have now. So, what, you received an email the same time you got this email this morning, and that included the um, new revision document for this week. So, I'm just going to go in here and have a look quickly. I've added the new timetable in here. So, this week's work is chapter 17, metals and non-metals, chapter 18, the periodic table, and chapter 19, material science. So you have to make your notes on those two chapters and then you have to answer the questions that I emailed you this morning, okay? They're also here, okay? So I've sent them to you an email and I also have them here in OneNote, okay? So what I'm going to do is from Thursday, the time we have science, I'm going to set up a Schoology conference. I'm going to come on to the Schoology conference and I will be on it for the hour to answer any questions you have on those chapters. Obviously on other things too, but sp specifically for this week, 
these are the chapters we're focusing on 17, 18 and 19. So on Thursday, I will be on for an hour. Now I will stay by the computer if I'm inundated with questions, that's fine. If nobody has any questions, that's fine too. Okay, I have plenty of work to keep me busy anyway, but I will be online for the hour that we have class on Thursday. If anybody has any questions on um, chapter 17, chapter 18 and chapter 19. Okay, so the idea is today is Monday between now and Thursday. Get your notes done. And what I, what I want you to do is even if you don't have any questions is to come online for that hour and spend that hour doing your science. Okay, if we were in class, when you came into class, I would ask you to open up your papers and I would ask you to start work on the questions and I would walk around the class in case anybody got stuck. So I'm trying to recreate that where you are sitting doing your science work for that hour and if you come up with an issue, I am at the other end of the computer to answer that question. Okay, so it's not an optional come on if you want or come on if you have a question. It's you come on for the hour, you spend the hour doing your science just like you would if you were in school and if you have a question, I'll be there to answer it. Okay, and that's how we're going to proceed. So the same thing next Monday, except then the questions will turn to 2021, 22, 23. Okay, and the same thing week by week. Okay, so we now have two live classes a week. I will come on at the start of the class. You will join at the start of the class. You will work away on your questions. And if you hit a problem, I will be there to answer it. Okay, I hope that's clear. And um, I will see you all online on Thursday. Okay, best of luck. Talk to you then.